Hi, welcome to Godly Play and Happy Easter. I know it seems like Easter was a while back, but we're still celebrating this season and we'll continue to until we get to the mystery of Pentecost. And during this time, we're gonna hear all sorts of interesting stories about this time, this new time, this time of new beginnings. So are you ready? Sitting quietly, got your listening ears on? Let's remember where we've been. Remember, we're using the color white, which signifies new, fresh beginnings. These stories I'm telling you are about the new ways that the disciples were getting to know Jesus during this time. We began with the three Marys that went to the tomb. Remember, when they got there, they found that Jesus was no longer there. And yet, in his absence, they still felt his presence. And then last time, I told you the story about those two men who were walking to Emmaus and how a stranger joined them. And it wasn't until much later, after they had dinner, that the stranger broke bread and suddenly they knew that it was Jesus. Well, I have another story about this interesting time was later, another night, a dark night in Jerusalem. And the disciples had gathered together in a room and they locked the windows and shut the door because they were worried that the soldiers might come and try and take them away, just like they had taken Jesus away. And then suddenly they heard a voice saying, peace be with you. And it was he, they thought, <gasps> Is it a ghost? But he talked with them and, and they could see his wounds. He even ate some fish. And as they sat and talked, Jesus opened up the scriptures to them, just like he had the two men in Emmaus. And after a while, Jesus again said, peace be with you. And then he was gone. Well, the next day, Thomas, who had not been with them the night before, heard the story from his friends. They told him all about what had happened the night before. But Thomas didn't believe them. He said, no, I won't believe until I can touch his wounds myself. I doubt, really doubt, all the way down to my bones. Chance wanted to come hear this story because it's getting really interesting, right? So why wouldn't Thomas doubt? I mean, it's kind of a crazy story, isn't it? I mean, all these stories where the disciples, their minds and hearts are being stretched so big as they try to learn how to know Jesus in this new way. Well, about eight days later, the disciples gathered again in a room. And once again, windows locked, doors shut. They hear the voice, peace be with you. And there was Jesus. And he walked right up to Thomas who was there that night. And he held out his hand and he said, touch me. Well, Thomas was so overcome that he simply fell to his knees and said, my Lord, my God. And Jesus gazed upon him and asked, do you believe because you have seen? Then he looked around the circle at the other disciples and he said, blessed are those who believe but have not yet seen. And then he was gone. Another interesting story, isn't it? And I wonder if you see yourself in this story anywhere. I wonder if you remember a time when something happened to you and you ran to tell your family or friends and they didn't believe you. Or maybe you're like Thomas. Maybe 
Your friends or family came to you to tell you about a story and you didn't believe them. We could be a little of each, I guess. Maybe y'all could think of some stories about that. And I wonder too, what must it have felt like to have to stretch your mind to make it so big to know Jesus in this new way? Have you ever had your heart or your mind stretched like that? What was that like? There's a lot to work with with this story, isn't there? I hope you'll enjoy sharing stories with each other and picking an activity or response that helps you understand or connect it to your own heart and your own life. So do that. Pick your own thing. Have a good time. But don't forget your feast. Find a cookie or something yummy to eat and share it with one another. And while you're at it, remember to lift up your thanksgivings to God, as well as the prayers of the things that concern you and weigh heavily on your heart. And don't forget that God is always listening. He always hears the prayers of your heart. He does that because he loves you so very much. So take that love and turn it out and give each other a big hug and love each other well this week. And come back because we've got some more stories to tell. <laughs>